Okay, so guys, this is getting uh, really, really strange. So today is, what is it, March 23rd right now? Uh, you know, the coronavirus seems to be, you know, spreading around, the COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, seems to be spreading around at a really intoxicating rate. And I think what's really weird is that if I, uh, you know, move my uh, little webcam for just a little bit, you can see... It's 5.51. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, right? 5.51, what's so weird about that time? What's weird about that time is that I didn't have any dinner yet. Our family hasn't had any dinner yet. And, um, for whatever reason, it, we, we haven't had any dinner. Usually when we have dinner, it's either the earliest, 4.30, or the latest, 5.30. And right now we haven't had any dinner, and the weirdest part is the COVID-19 has also not only has caused my school, which I don't know if I actually told you guys, but not it's caused not only my school to push the time it is closed all the way till what was it like April 10th, but some of your guys' schools that you're watching, or some of your guys' schools for the viewers that are watching me, actually have been closed or will be closed for a whole nother year. So, at the time being that you guys are in school during March, you guys will probably be back in school in next January. And I thought it was crazy for me to be back in school next April, and it's not even a summer break yet. Our spring break ended last week. We were supposed to be back in school. I'm supposed to have been in school, but nope. Here we are, another day of another few weeks of us being stuck here for who knows how long until school reopens and until we realize that we have lost many, many brain cells, especially for me, trying to get into this game with a lot of satirical waifus. Thing for me is also, I'm getting really into it with this game. There is so much happening. It's like after the whole, like, uh, what was it? After we got out of the zero dimension, I've been just thinking, what's happening? What's gonna happen afterwards? Are we gonna actually finally, you know, move on with the story other than be stuck in the zero dimension for once? And who are we going to see? Are we going to actually see characters like Noir? And, uh, you know, who else? Vert, Blan, Blonde, I don't know her name. Their sisters, except for Vert, who doesn't have any sisters. Are we Are going to see them? And that's what is going to happen. We're going to, f well, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that we're actually going to see them. Instead of, you know, be stuck with all this stuff. Also, as much as I really hate saying it, for now, just so we can keep with the pacing of this video, why are we back here? Uh, why are we back here? I, I thought, you know, we were, you know, moving on into, uh, you know, the, the thing, you know, where we were going to, uh, you know, do... The, I guess the system didn't save when, uh... I, oh, oh, yeah. Oh! Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. Four, we get back into where we it pushed us off again. I would want to see the other VR sessions. So, I want to check out new R's first. And, uh, what was I going to say? But unfortunately, I will not be putting the VR headset on as much as I really, really want to. It's really inconsistent when I have, you know, this whole recording set up and the VR thing don't, doesn't want to work with, you know, the thing. Because, like, as you saw in the previous episode, I tried getting the VR to work and it worked, but the quality was bad. And not only that, but the audio was all jacked up again for whatever reason. So, I don't want to be... I don't want to put up with any of that just for the sake of my own personal experience that you guys won't get... So, without further ado, let's just be normal for once. Let's check out the VR sessions, unfortunately, without the VR. But it shouldn't be any different, right? We still get personal, uh, personal little, like, take in with Noir right Are here. Are you the player? Why, yes, I am, ma'am. Oh, my God. We gosh. haven't actually met. My name's Noir. The goddess of last station. It's a pleasure to meet you. Why, thank you. Sorry to drop in like this. I've been wanting to meet you, so I thought I'd just come over. Oof. Am I bothering you? Also, really quick, before... Uh, oh, wait. The interface shows you're being asked a question. Respond positively. I already know this, but uh, before that... um. 
in the VR headset, the quality, like all of this is actually a lot more lower. So being able to see an actual quality in front of my eyes is actually good. Because in the VR, all the colors are kind of like desaturated a bit. The character, it looks okay. They look still as lively as they should. But in the VR setting, it looks really weird. So also, no, you are not bothering me, thankfully, except for whenever dinner comes around, which I don't know when it is, but you know. That's great. I was worried you might be a little too busy for me. I mean, I was earlier, so this it's fine. This one looks pretty nice, but I think it could use a personal touch. I'd like to organize it a little bit. And like, hey, how would you do that? Uh, if it's okay with you, could I clean up around here when I come and visit? Wait a minute. So you're telling me that Noor can just come in my room? And not only talk to me like a waifu should, or a waifu would, but you're telling me she will also bloody clean my room? This is perfect. Or should I say, she's perfect. Yes! That's great news! <laughs> Just leave it to me! Although, why would you want to, though? But it's kind of interesting. Don't leave everything in a big mess just because you'll know I'll clean it up, okay? Oh, okay. I'll have to tell the others that too. Especially Neptune. Especially her. Ooh, ooh. What's anyway, so special about her? I usually spend a lot of time hanging out at my friends' houses. Okay. They like to leave their games and manga lying around, and I always end up helping them clean up their stuff. Really? And it's not like I'm a bossy lady or some kind of clean freak, you know. Okay. I just don't really like messy rooms. I can move around? Hold up. I have lots of friends, so it's difficult to keep up with them all. Uh, uh was that a little too much? I know that you're able to interact with other dimensions, so you probably know a little bit about me, don't you? Yeah-ish? You know, it is true that I visit my friends like Neptune pretty regularly. Like every day? But also, I think it's difficult to label these relationships so one-sidedly. We're all goddesses and we're friends, but we're rivals too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, well, it's not like we don't get along. In fact, it seems like we've actually been getting close lately. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like I keep talking about weird things. Um, I'm realizing this is the first time I've been in the room of someone who isn't one of the goddesses. It's probably just making me nervous. Yeah, I can tell. Huh? <laughs> What's up? Why are you staring? It's just gonna make me feel worse. Ha! Ah. Hey, can we turn on the AC or something? <laughs> oh my gosh. Do we even have a uh, freaking vent? Anyway, there's a lot of stuff I want us to talk about next time. I decided I'm gonna come over a little more often. So you better be ready. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, if that's alright with you, of course. I'd be really happy if you let me visit again. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. But for now, I'm just glad I got to finally meet you. That said, I'm going to get going. Okie dokie. told us to be careful since maintaining the gate coordinates can be tricky. Why don't you just write down a notebook? See you around. See you later, Noir. Have a great day! Also, how do you open portals like that? Are you just, like, magical? Do you just naturally do that? Oh, you do have a second one. Okay. Second VR session with Noir, just like we did with Neptune, where we had two VR sessions with her. So let's get right into it. So we get to know her before we probably see her in the next part, which I'm hoping we do. All what? types of stuff. Here. <laughs> what in the world am I doing? First thing about moving through a gate, and here I am trying to show off. 
All right, this is really good so far. Really liking this. Take that any connotation you want. Whoa. Whoa there, ma'am. Uh, hello. I thought I'd drop by. Now, this is the part where I get really angry for not having the VR on. D don't look at me like that! How was I supposed to know that the gate would open right in front of your freaking couch? You would have opened your eyes Dad, at least? I owe you an apology for kicking your furniture. Sorry. Wow, for the first time in forever, no someone apologizes to me, table. even though they were just angry. I didn't even notice that. What? Is this a video game from the What is that, world? like Call of Duty? Uh, yeah, it looks like Call of Duty. The genres... Oh, it's an FPS! Also, it took me forever to learn, but you FPS know, actually means first-person shooter. I enjoy a good FPS game, but I'm not very good at playing them. I oh yeah, yeah I'm neither am I. It's okay. Games like this, and I usually end up being a target. Ouch. This is more of Uni's scene, not mine. Oh, Uni's my little sister. I figured. Well, she I already knew actually. She loves guns and military stuff, and knows a ton about all that. Uni always looks the most excited when she's playing those kinds of games. Just the am other I day, surprised? we were playing a multiplayer game together, and we talked a lot, but. Our chat became more and more niche, and it eventually got a little too hard for me to keep up with her. Who do you chat with that in a party? There are so many types of guns, and when you throw in customization, it's incredible how much there is to know. Speaking of weapons, I'm sure you already know this, but the weapon that I enjoy using the most is the rapier. What you might not have known is that there's quite a difference between Neptune's katana and my rapier, even though they're both swords. She has a katana? The heck? To explain it briefly, rapiers are much lighter than other swords, and they excel at stabbing your enemy because of that. Katanas are sharp, so you can slice or stab. Some say it's better because it can do both. Although it okay. sounds like a more powerful weapon, its blade is rather delicate. And so it's a uh, butter sword? Needed of its, user to wield it properly. it's strong, but it Let's just see. gets... It's broken easily or something. If you happen to get the chance, you should try to watch us when we're on the battlefield again. It'll paint a better picture of what I'm talking about. Hopefully I'll be I'll able to see that now, this episode. You can't just go swinging a sword around your room. Oh, I tried that once in my room. It was also, bad. A weapons I embarrassed myself hardcore. It was... Its user's physique and personality affect their compatibility with it, too. I love how the my little, like, cartridge is, is like, call hardly economic. in our hand. I fight smarter, not harder. The rapier is light, and it allows me to quickly exploit my enemy's weaknesses. The katana isn't worse, but it has a curved blade. That gives it a pretty unique feel, and honestly, that makes it a little difficult for me to handle. Neptune is a lot different in that she doesn't subscribe to a particular fighting style. She's very... free, and an offensive weapon suits her. And why do you know this? In my opinion, her fighting style completely ignores any and all tactics. It's just so dangerous that I couldn't possibly think of trying to emulate it. What? I'm not. Uh, I don't think I'm talking about her that much. Um, trying to emulate it. Uh, we're both goddesses, and this is stuff about her I should know. Really? As fellow CPUs, sometimes we fight together. And when we do, combination skills become important too, you know? So, it's not weird. It's totally normal to analyze her movements. In battle, of course. Uh, um, hey, can you keep this conversation between the two of us? Because the thing is... If she were to hear this, she'd take it the wrong way, and I'd never hear the end of it. Oh, yeah, knowing her, definitely. Um, first of all, whoa, what do you mean, told- Okay, if you were to analyze her battle movements so much, and it should be quote-unquote important, then what about the other two? Blan, Blan, whatever her name is, and Vert. Just saying. Okay. 
But yes, I'll keep the conversation between us because, you know, we are nice people and we don't randomly scourge out people for whatever reason. You mean it? That's great news! <laughs> it's nice to share a secret like this. It's the stuff of real friendships. Is it? Phew. I just came over here to relax. I didn't think I'd talk so much. I mean, I'm fine with people talking a lot. Now. It's fine. Depends if it's like, you know. I guess the gate's position today really is right there. I'll come back again soon, okay? See ya! S see you later, Noir. H have a great day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I almost left here with your game. I was about to say, <laughs> how dare you take my Call of Duty game? Okay, seriously now. You ever get one later. of those feelings? See, yeah, see you later. Bye. Uh, I was about to say handsome, but she's not a dude. She's a woman. I can't come up with another one. It's... But, uh, you ever get one of those feelings where you just hold items and you hold them for so long at that point you don't even know that you're holding it? It happens. It happens. Although, also, just of curiosity, what are room objects? If it's, uh, you know. Okay. Ooh. Um, uh, purple actually looks kind of cute. Okay. Purple. Mm, maybe not the table, though. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. That's j I can have another one. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> or I can, you know, just have... <laughs> fill my whole shelf with them. <laughs> oh, my okay, buddy. Let's just stop right there. I, I think that's already unnecessary. Uh, anyways, let's continue to the story. Back here. I where we were supposed to actually be way yes, past this. The repair was successful. Yes, thank you. The repair was successful. I've already seen the scene. We were being attacked outside. <sighs> there are too many of them. Okay, so, and then we finished that. They left the party because uh, Neptune got finally transported back to her world. We already seen this. It was like about like the whole, uh, what was it? Stuff like that. You, you know what we're talking about. Now we have to go through Adult Neptune again, except this time we'll get to be her. I, at least we'll get to see her quality. Ooh, at least we'll get to see her quality thick hey cuteness, there. at Hi. least. I'm here to visit again. Oh my gosh, look at those little parties. <laughs> so, while I was chasing after rare bugs, I stumbled onto a ton of retro games. She's so cute, you can't and lie. So look at her. I wanted Just to show adorable them to you. Adorable face. <laughs> the legs. Already super curious, aren't you? And best of all, there's a ton I want to gun. show you. But if I had to choose one, it's this. This game is just amazing. In order to solve a puzzle, you have to wait without doing anything for an hour, or you have to sing using the mic built in the controller. There's no way to beat it by playing normally. The developer got over 400 complaint calls. Why is your and on top of that, according to the producer, it was put together in an hour's talk at a cafe. All the Wowie. ridiculous game design decisions were apparently thought of right there. Oopsies. <gasps> what? Sorry, sorry. I got a little <laughs> overexcited. I don't know what she dropped, but okay. Well then, seeing is believing, so let's try playing it right now. <laughs> she, I'm sorry, but she's actually really adorable. Greatest CPU I've hmm? seen. This is? Huh. I've never seen a console like this. Do you think Oof. it's possible to play this retro game on this console? Would you mind if I try? <laughs> Would you mind if I... I love the way she says it. Okay, so last time I said yes, so what if I say no? You're right. It probably won't work. Wow, it's now she sounds so down. Oh. When you want to play a game, but you can't. You're so dramatic. Hmm. You know, what if the hardware is where you found the software? It just it's like a work. one sentence difference. Okay. She's like, oh, you're Next right. Instead of like, all right, I'ma try. Looks around like, oh, never mind. I don't think we can do this. If the game won't work, we just have to find hardware that will play it. I'm not sure if I'll find it soon, but if I do, let's play it together. Okay. 
Whoops. <laughs> Sorry for staying so long. <laughs> I'll be leaving now. Okie dokie. I'm gonna actually it's put this like so much fun with you. <laughs> I always end up forgetting the time. <laughs> I'll come back soon. See you. The way she giggles though, okay. I mean she's she's really cute. Like how could how could she be mad, you know? Okay, finally. We're moving on. Hyper dimension. Let's finally move on. Oh, that's giving me a headache. I've arrived in the hyper dimension. Woohoo! Without Nepgear. Wait, this isn't the time to celebrate. Isti, Isti, it's an emergency. Um, wait, Isti? That's weird. She's usually in my face as soon as I walk in, barraging me with a weird combo of welcome home and random lectures. Hey! Wrong dimension? Esty, I'm here! Are we in the wrong dimension or like. Holy crackers! Isti's passed out! Hey, Isti, are you alright? Yikes! She's burning up! <sighs> oh. Dude. Welcome home. I'm glad you made it safely back. I'm not important at the moment. Right now, I'm just worried about you. What happened? It Burned out from the transfer? It's embarrassing. But I tried my best to accomplish a task far above my specifications. Oh, oh is probably that. If you were doing this for us? <laughs> All the little tears in my eyes. Where is? Yeah, Neptune. Have you not noticed Neptune about your sister? What? Did Isty just short circuit? Why isn't she getting back up? Oh no 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 no! What the heck should I do? The one time she's without her sister. Jeez, Nep. What's this racket about? You haven't it's even been iffy. back five minutes, and you're making a scene. You should at least come say hi first. Yeah, but where's Neptune? Iffy, you have incredible timing. By the way, this girl here is Iffy. She works as a guild agent in Planetoon, and she's a dear old friend of mine. Hey, come on, don't get weird. Did you want to see us that badly? Iffy! All right, all right, get off it already. Stop crying and getting your snot all over me. Oh. Huh. But, but Isti is... Eastwar is what? Wait, Eastwar? Nep, what's going on? Well, you see, then yada yada blah and... This and that and the other thing, I see. Ooh, just as I'd expect from you, Iffy. We're definitely kindred spirits, if you can understand that. Also, wait... Whether we're kindred spirits really isn't important right now. We need to do something to help Eastwar. Okay, I'm just curious, who is actually the voice actor for both Uzume and Iffy? Like, if it's the same person, I wouldn't be surprised. But if it's a different person, then geez, they actually sound very similar. Nep, help me carry her. How much does she weigh? She's small. All right, we've laid her down for now. This is pretty troubling. I've called Kampa, but we don't know if the treatments we used are going to work. Oof. Sorry to keep you waiting, Yiffy. Oh, welcome home, Nep Nep. Okay, I know her. I've never heard her voice. I've never seen her this close. Holy wow. How do you describe her? She looking like she came out of a completely different anime, you know that? Like her skin, super smooth, super pale. The hair is all... How do you just... And her uniform too, definitely way more different than everyone else. Like you got uh, Neptune with the, the, sh the jacket. Her with kind of the jacket over the little shirt you can see. And then her is like a really soft looking coat. Kinda ish. How do you describe it? Also, please, again, everyone, look to a little bit of a different direction. You know, it's kind of it's kinda of weird when you guys have to give me the eye contact that hard. Long time no see, Kampa. Hmm? Were well, you not that worried about me being gone, perchance? Ah, uh, well, this isn't really the first time you've disappeared without telling anyone that net. Ooh. We figured you'd suddenly reappear eventually, like you usually do. Uh-huh. I 
can't tell whether you're really confident in me or if you just think I'm some kind of careless fool. Maybe in the middle, just knowing her. Kampa, or not knowing her, like but Ify, like, you know, it's just she's a being great that thing. Friend of just, mine. I'm gonna actually just lower my chair because it's. I really have to, you know, scooch effort into a microphone that, for whatever reason, sometimes she's can't pick up all the sound. And nursing is her current occupation, and she works in public hospitals. And she's a nurse? Now hold up there. I think I might have to have a. a actually, wait. Never mind. I'm, I'm Sorry for calling nurses, you so, so suddenly, Kappa. The way I sounded that sounded so weird. Don't take that out of context, okay? She's a special nurse. Compass a special nurse. Best nurse. Great nurse. I don't know. It's no big deal when it's a request from you, Ify. And it's been quite a while since I've had a chance to see Nep Nep. So, do you think you can take a look at Eastwar? Her condition doesn't seem to have evolved from the stuff I texted you about earlier. Leave it to me! Oof. Well, I want to say that, but I think it'll be impossible with normal treatment methods. Her voice is also super correctly. cute, too! Isn't she that artificial life form created by the Planetune CPU from forever ago? Forever ago? Yes, Hope you're not exaggerating indeed. that. I I think it was a CPU named SC or SG or something like that. Then, do you think there might be a user's manual for Risty floating around somewhere? What? There's just a manual about another person? Like, imagine there's a manual about it you. Exists. I think some kind of troubleshooting information might be able to help us out. A user's manual? Even if one existed, I really doubt it's still around here. It'd be so old. True. Yes, seriously, she's not some run of the. Okay, so um, just to real quick say, uh, the little cutoff again was the exact same thing that happened in the previous episode, where, for whatever reason, my capture card decided, hey, uh, disconnection time. I don't know why it happened again, and I actually physically saw it this time, just right in the middle. It literally, first of all, my screen froze, then it. For whatever reason, disconnected, and it said that it could not, the capture card could not be found. You know, it gives that that regular screen. It's like, oh, your capture card's not plugged in, so it can't be found. I don't know why it's doing this now, and it maybe just could be the fact that I'm a, that I uh, have this, you know, folder with a bunch of videos I need to edit. That's like 78 gigabytes big, and now I have like 152 gigabytes remaining now. It could be that, or the fact that the capture card's actually going old. Like now, when it's actually new ish, like it, what did it, what was it? I received it like last year, I think. So it's not a year old yet, or the fact that it's in the box is actually causing it to have some problems, or the PS4 is giving it some problems. So, anyways, let's get back into the thing. Wait, there totally is an instruction manual. Also, I'm now realizing I'm a little loud up to the microphone. I'm sorry, but, um,. I get Are a you kidding me? No joke, Ify. I distinctly remember Isti going on and on about her manual once, many Planetune moons ago. Wow, okay. So, I need to just look directly here, because I think it's when I start looking to the side and not looking directly forward that the microphone starts having problems. Then let's hop to it. Let's find the manual. Her voice is way too squeaky. Holy cow. It's like... Let's find the manual! Like, I don't even know what? Oh my gosh, guys. We did it. We're out of the zero dimension. Holy wow, this actually looks beautiful. Finally. <laughs> am I right? Also, I am bloody too loud. Hold up. I'm actually gonna, like... Is this good en Is this good enough? Hold up, wait. So what if I just go... Okay, I think this might be okay. I might be too loud. Okay, oh great, more conversations. Oh, yep, here we go, we're back to the silent mode again. Here we go, boys and girls, back at it again with the silent mode. Also, what's really weird about this place is that this place, I'm not gonna lie, looks like a church. Like, just looking at it, like the way the seats are organized, it seems like. And the way, like in the background of Neptune, where to, you know, just get out of the way. <laughs> It's like, yeah, see, look at the background over there. Kind of, I don't know. Maybe it looks like one of those places where you have your wedding or something. I don't know. It looks like a church. Actually, wait, don't churches also host weddings now that I think about it? 
So you're telling me that his tea is a robot or something like some type of robot So I'm reading through this and they're like reading they're at, they're reading through the instruction manual, right? And they're going through like uh, sections of like if his tea is tired or broken or something They're making it sound like as if his tea is like some sort of robot So um Are all of them robots then? Or are they all human, but they're just called CPUs? I mean, I don't know about you, but Compa's chest doesn't tell me. Actually, why is Compa that thick? Like, hold up. Whoa, okay. She's a nurse, but we don't, we don't. <laughs> oh my. The more I play this game, the worse I get. Oh my gosh. What happened to my Christian self, man? What happens? What happened to me when I was just a pure boy? Well, then again, I mean, we live in a society where, you know, sexual jokes here and there are actually funny. So, um, I, I, I don't know, it's probably not surprising at this point. I'm trying to understand what's going on, but I think it's something on the lines of, like, Neptune's trying to say, Hey, how about, um, I'm going some blah blah blah, do you guys want to come with me, or does one of you want to come with me, so that way I can check out what's going on, blah blah blah, but they're both like, I would love to, but we can't, because blah blah blah, we're reading through manual or something. So, um... I think that's what's going on right now. Oh my gosh, finally we get to see Noir. Thank you, we actually get to see her. Because we just had a VR session with her. Okay, so at least Neptune is acknowledging the fact that Nepgear actually is, you know, kind of just yeet. I think that's Noir. Oh, that's Noir and Uni. Oh, look at the both of them. Look at Uni. Oh my gosh. They look at so also, I'm not realizing that Noir and Uni actually have red eyes. I don't know why that took me a while to realize that, but wow, it actually looks kind of weird. Or maybe they do that as a threatening mechanism. You know? I don't know. Oh my gosh, who is calling me? Oh my gosh. Yeah? Hello? What? Okay, so uh, after this conversation, I have to go eat something. So it seems like Noir and Uni came along because if he called them, it's like, hey, uh, something's going on. Uh, you need to help Neptune because this is, is actually kind of urgent, more than you think. Who would go anywhere to come flying and see Neptune? Um, everyone that loves her. Poor Uni. <laughs> What's Nepgear thinking? Nepgear is Nepgear. I also learned that part of Nepgear's personality is that she is, if there is a friend endangered, which was Uzume, and especially since Nepgear has a very strong relationship with Uzume now, or really likes Uzume, that's why she kind of just dived down like, Uzume, no, I must protect you. And uh, here we are. Nepgear is kind of just left behind. Wow. I just read this sentence and holy cow, just listen, she hasn't even called to check in with me. I wish she'd be consider considerate enough about me to know that it's making me so worried. I think you kind of know where that's leading to. Oh, and they ran into someone or something. Okay, I don't know who that is actually. Oh, that's just a bystander. I'm go is there like no male in existing except for like robots and whatever thou and monsters or something? Holy moly. Are those people possibly Lady Neptune, Lady Noir? How do, how do you not know? Are they, you know, if they're like presidents or like they're leaders of their own like, you know, nation, shouldn't they be like the most, shouldn't they have like their face like plastered pretty much everywhere? So it, that's like saying like, oh, Donald Trump is our president, but I've never seen his face before because his face is never plastered on the news, on any type of media, or any type of thing. It's like, hello? Like, what's with things like this? Some very popular guy, you've never seen their face. Shanshore Soulful Patch? I'm just now remembering that there are items that we can mash together to create stuff. I forgot about that, but we'll just uh, bypass it for now, because I don't remember how you do it. Yeah. Uh, Noir is a Sundere indeed. 
Sundre. Sundre. Sur. Oh, and we get to see. Vlan! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see her! But I gotta get some dinner, so I gotta BRB. We get to finally talk to Vlan! I'm gonna call her just Vlan. Because I don't wanna get it just confused at this point. Uh, it's Vlan! In the books? Look for. In the books? Wait a minute. Books. Does your place even have books, Neptune? Huh? I guess the answer is yes. The answer is yes. There are books there. Just wonderful. Star Clark? What the heck? Comic book session section. So this is the adult magazine. <laughs> this is the adult magazine with the general requested. However, there are two women at the register. This is most troubling. Hold up, mate. A ninja mumbling to himself in the corner of the book section. Game industry sure has a variety of citizens. That's a citizen? What? What kind of si so those are males? Robots? What kind of world is this? So there's no like human male being just here? No like regular human being as a male? They're either robots or they're monsters? Like what? And then all the regular like, you know, looking human people or women or girls. Like what? I, that's what it feels like at least. I don't see any male. And not only that, but to mention that giant gods, goddesses technically, are goddesses, which means they're women. Okay, are we almost done? I don't know why you described to us about you, but sure thing, Neptune. Oh no, wait, maybe she's giving, maybe she's doing a little narrative that she just did at the beginning, where she walks from, uh, you know, from Japan to New York. Okay, let's see. As I casually glanced aside, I saw a young man sitting alone at a bench. Shall we d d talk about it? Oh, so, mmm, there is human being men. Finally. Oh my gosh, I was about to get so frustrated with this. Thankfully, there actually are normal human being people that are male. Oh my gosh, because it was getting a little tiresome. I don't really understand how, but I've ended up having a conversation with this handsome loser of a man. Oh my gosh. Wow. So what is it that you want to talk about? Talk to me about? Depending on the topic, I might report you. Please rest assured, I'm sorry, but you land quite a ways outside of my strike zone. Ooh. What I wanted to speak to you about was the CPU this late of this nation, Lady Neptune. From what I've heard, lately she hasn't shown up for public services and she shut herself up to play around. On top of that, her chest hasn't developed at all for a few years now, she's as flat as a board. At least there's a difference between these handsome losers versus us ugly people. That are, or at least some people like me, that at least want to be like actual human beings, actual, you know, people with a brain, actual people that are smart, actual people that are careful, actual people that play video games. At least the difference is, if we've heard of a character, we were to at least look them up maybe, and if, especially if they were popular, we would know what they are. These people, on the other hand, holy moly. Where are you? Where have you been? That last point aside, maybe she's had some extenu- wait, oh, oh, exten extenuating circumstances out of her control, question mark? You know, she might have been sick or had to go far away for work. I suppose it could be thought of that way too. I bet you're the kind of guy that takes what's written on the internet at face value. That's why you're so suspicious of the CPU. For the first time in forever, ladies and gentlemen, my capture card actually not only disconnected again from the PS4 for whatever reason, but it actually crashed this time. So for just in case, I got rid of some of the junk on my computer that was finished and I just decided to get rid of it. So now I have a good amount of gigabytes remaining. 
I think. Actually, hold up. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just stop this update because it's actually just straight up hacking my computer. But um, you know. I'm hoping that the footage that I recorded earlier for the past six minutes was not corrupted. And if that's the case, that would suck. So anyways, without further ado, let's get back into this game and hopefully we're not going to deal with whatever problem we just had right now. You have that kind of look about your face, but you shouldn't believe those kinds of groundless rumors. And also the audio is just freaked up too, so that's wonderful. So now, I have to go all the way back out. The audio better be okay for the rest of the game or the rest of the time I'm gonna be doing this for the next 50 minutes since we have a movie night coming really soon and that's gonna be wonderful giving me the stink eye I see it often happens that malicious people she used the word malicious I think I uh, <laughs> that malicious people spread strange rumors for fun you know y you're right I I'm sorry thanks to you I've opened my eyes even though I'm a handsome loser, I'll be taking my leave now. Now we have freaking dumb males that exist in this world. So are, so are the women, so is this like one of those games where the women are the specialized, you know, heroes, protagonists, just like in Splatoon and Splatoon 2, where it's the women that are more favored than the men? I had no idea what would happen when he criticized me by name, eh? but I guess these things turn out all right sometimes wonderful but geez lousy who is it who's posting weird rumors about me online uh everyone that likes to make fun of flat people it's almost time to okay i'm not gonna read the rest of the stuff since you guys don't really care about the stuff right the other part was reading because it was actually kind of funny the secret of crop circles grand crosses oh my gosh whoa you know what I'm really scared about is that we're taking so much time trying to find a book or trying to find information on how to, you know, get Histy back, who is just a character in this story, when we have, you know, Nepgear to also worry about and, you know, Uzume to worry about who are in the Zero Dimension, but Nepgear has never came from that dimension, so, ooh, it's a big yikes, I can assure you that. Not really much is happening here. But they're going to a super neat place, and they're going to find out if they can go eat anything, or not eat anything, but have like an ice cold drink of something. Or they may also eat something as well. I don't know. We don't know. Or at least I do know, because I was reading it, and you guys weren't, because I was skipping ahead. Or I was, uh, you know, during this editing at least, I was skipping ahead. So, um, you know. What? Hmm. What is going on? I think she's reading. Wait, at this rate, game, game industry is gonna fall into ruins. Is there any way to avoid destruction? Wait, what? Found something? Prophecy of the Golden Summit. I'm sure this is it. Wait, so. Whoa! Whoa! The hat that she's wearing, though? I mean, if you guys know me personally, I really love that hat. Whoa! The body, though, you might need to tone down a bit. So, did b -Shot just tell us some kind of foreshadowing? And she's... <sighs> Whoa. c -Sha. Whew. My, my lady. Hold up. It's pretty quiet here. Oh, how uh, how ironic. Because, you know, the COVID-19 thing kind of happening. And, you know, uh, I one time went to a Target and it was literally, like, quiet. There was, like, no one there, I swear. Like, you know how when you go to a Target... Oh, what is with the eyes? You know how you go to a Target and, um, you know, there'd be, like, hundreds, maybe even, like, 500 people or something. I don't know. There's, like, some super big market with, like, maybe 300 people at most. And then the one time we went to Target, it had, like, 20 people there, like, or maybe even 10. I know, I, and we know why, but for the first time in my life, I've went to a supermarket that has, like, little to no people there. And we even had, there was even employees that were out of their, like, you know, their, like, places where they check out items. They were just talking to other people, I think. The first time forever I've seen something like that. It, it's crazy. Oh, look, it's Vert. And Blan. Precious Blan. Oh, they're looking for an item. So it's not just about his tea. Neptune's also looking for an item. Maybe it's to also get Nepgear back as well. Maybe that's why they're looking for an item. The first CPU planet tune. <gasps> Bro, you guys know 4chan? 
this is exactly 4chan. Isn't that where all the hoax and rumors seep out of? 4chan is also that. There have been, uh, aside from all the lewd pictures of CPU spanking. <laughs> what? I don't know. I mean, maybe 4chan has that as well, but 4chan is notorious for having the weirdest information out there. I remember, what was it? Um, I can't remember where I found this, but I think back before we had the Kensa weapons, there was this 4chan post that there was going to be like these, um, these dually weapons. There was like this one dually weapon that was like a differently colored weapon. One of them had like extra range and the other one didn't, but one, but the one that didn't have more power or something. And every time you dually dodge rolled, it switched, you were able to just like switch whichever, you know, dually you were using. There was like, and there was also, um, a trade in money system, um, for Splatoon as well, or they were planning at least. And there was also something like that with the seashells. And I was excited for that, but it was from 4chan, which meant that it more than likely was a hoax. And, you know, we're in 2020, uh, the last weapons update we got was, uh, what was the Sheldon's picks, which was literally a whole year ago, so, uh, yeah, I don't see anything about a dually weapon that can, uh, has, uh, you know, different colors and is, uh, has, uh, can be able to have, uh, different ranges and different power, different fire rate, and I don't see any, uh, money trading system that we need. Ooh! Someone's spreading rumors about Vert. Now that's a no-no. I had made the assumption that she was busy with online games. <laughs> Ooh, I got it. Notification. Oh, oh, oh! Someone made another profile pic for me. Let me actually check this real quick. Oh my gosh, it's so lovely. Like, hang on. I don't know if I can show you guys. Uh, one of my friends, Rudy. Uh, I don't know if she's my friend right now because I haven't talked with her in forever, but. She wrote a message, first of all, about how she's, you know, for to she, I am to her a really great friend, and uh, another bunch of parts that I don't want to read out because then they'll make it not feel any special. So if you guys actually join my Discord, you would actually see it, and it's a really special message from her. What's with the eyes again? But look at this really cool profile pic that she did. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Rudy, if you're watching this video, which I doubt it, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Anyways, uh, getting back on topic, it seems like they're about to go somewhere, and it's just Neptune, uh, Numora, and Uni right now. Which I don't know what level they'll be, but let's hope they'll be a high level, like level, you know, 21 or above. <laughs> when you shift the blame on your sister. Hey, Noir. Okay. I think your Sundere personality is getting in the wrong hands. Or getting in the wrong, you know, type of time right now. Yeah, see? Even Uni's confuzzled. <laughs> oh my gosh. The relationship is actually hilarious. Well, never mind. We're not going to be playing as them because uh, now I don't know what happened, but you know. Now they're just leaving. I think because of that. You know, the comment that Uni made, like, What? No way, you're lying, and you said this and that. And I was like, What? No! Stop! <laughs> oh, if he's coming. Yay. A partner. Yay. Ooh, so it seems like if he's trying to get somewhere to uh, improve the uh, network transportation, it seems like. So... I... I mean, that's what it sounds like, at least, right? As you know, our economy is not that great lately, so we're trying to simulate the flow of people and goods. Wow, amazing. So we're switching from analog to optical lines. Normally, this area is going to be moving with your protection. Only one part's been constructed, but since it's an emergency, we have permission from the Basilicon to send the route out. Or the route. They even have funds, that's cool. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? We have to build it? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. With route building, you can create new routes to Actually, no, hold up. Well, I'm gonna use this opportunity. I'm gonna resend that message that I sent earlier, which was supposed to be sent. You will need to pay the cost of the route development in order to uh, route build. You will need to use credits and occasionally special units. Special units? Okay? Oh wait, 
Route building, yeah, okay. Where would you build this route? Yes, I don't know why we have to build routes now, and I'm not okay with that. Uh, okay, first gen CPU, uh, whatever that is. Conversations, I'm pretty sure these are not important. <laughs> oh wait, there's also a shop. Um, healing pod? Ooh, healing pod, I might need this. But let's go up by 10. Let's get 15 of those. Okay, I think we should be good right there. Let's go over here. Stop making Pokemon references, we get it. Um, uh, ooh! Let's do our best. Okay, Neptune! Okay, so what, she just basically like, dang, this is the, oh wait, it's, is it really just her only? Wow, it's just her only. Oh, we're level 25. I mean, that might be fine. But then again, although, let's just see how strong we are. Oh, never mind, we're fine. We're good, fams. We're really strong. Never mind, we're good. We are super duper strong right now. That was actually really easy. This place looks really cool. Like, oh my goodness. Let me just take a closer look at this. What do you think, Neptune? What do you think? What? How do you zoom in? Oh, yeah. What do you think, Neptune? What do you think about this weird looking place where it's supposed to be the origin story of the very first CPU? Uh, okay, well, stop screwing your boots. Like, what do you think? Like, I need your opinion. Moving on. Oh my gosh, they get so many turns? Like, what? Okay, buddy. So, I gotta be really strong with this. Well, there we go. Don't die, because that is a lot of turns. Why is that so many turns? Why do they get so many turns? No, 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 no. I'm a- No, 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 no. Run that back. Run that back. No way. That was so unfair. Number one, there were three of them, and they had so many turns. Literally- It didn't matter they die in one shot. The, the problem was that they had so many turns. That was just straight up unfair. Run that. I can't run that back because there was only that one. I am actually very triggered. I was thinking, oh yeah, there's one remaining. I'll survive this. But that thing had so many turns. I died for it. Why did it, like, any every enemy got, like, maybe, like, one to three. Why did that one have, like, five? I miss? How did I miss? You wanna be starting something? What the hell did you say? Wow, they have language. So that's new. What the hell you say? How did I miss? Hello? Why are we getting to a part of the game where my attacks are just straight up missing? Was it his small structure that I couldn't even hit? Like, hello? Found an item. What does the purple I stuff what's mean? Inside. <laughs> this is just unfair now. Like, why? This is like one of those parts where it's like, oh yeah, it would be okay, but, you know. This time I should hopefully kill it right. That it was revenge for the fact that you gave me my first game over that I should have never had. Oof. She's probably right. Defeat big boss or something, and then, you know.
or whatever it is. Oh, she's going goddess mode, okay, or HDDD mode, right? Which I don't have no idea what that stands for, actually. So let's just get going. Let's go, uh... Now, purple heart, apparently. Oh! What the heck is this thing just doing here? Alright, power slash. Let's see how strong this is. That missed. First one missed, at least. Oh, again, it gets multiple turns. Okay. Okay, buddy. Cross combination. Well, this shouldn't miss. Mm, mm. Bam! I don't know how that didn't do as much damage as I thought it'd do, but okay, buddy. Oh my gosh, it's one of those enemies that get so many turns, bro. That's not even fair. All right, healing glass again. All right. Try normal attack again since that, for whatever reason, does more damage. A little bit more damage, it seems like. My turn. Oh, it has another life bar. Okay. Heal a thousand health. I'll use an item. Alright, we good. My teeth are sore. <laughs> I'm going to cut you to pieces! Is that all? Leave this to he me! He uses special moves? Okay, buddy. No. Alright. This is quite a different battle. Why does it get so many turns? This should kill it, right? Swear to gosh. Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, dang, that booty, though. But gosh dang, that was why? Why did these enemies get supposed to go like this? Yeah, it wasn't because for whatever reason that got so many turns that was super unnecessary. Level one F FPS, what the heck? As a CPU, I must become stronger. Oh yeah, and she leveled up too. And dang, some more of the jiggle physics. Like I wasn't even paying attention to it, but yeah, I saw it pretty much. Also, I'm sorry if I'm being a little too loud, but. I don't know how loud or how quiet. Like, uh, there's a certain range, and I don't know what that, where that range is. Because sometimes I feel like I'm too quiet, but then I'm too loud. Well, if that's the case. Maybe I should make it a weedy bit louder here then, right? Right? I don't know. But, uh, let's just see what's going on here. Bunch of old cartridges. Okay. Super nostalgic. Uh, I don't know why we need that, but we got it. Oh, ah, uh, item chip. Oh, item or idea chip by. Uh, oh, oh, oh. We need multiple of those chips. Okay. You know, you know, it's sad when I'm like now learning. All this. Wait, Beam Saber. Wait, can Neptune equip that? Go fast. Or, uh. Wait, wait. I just realized. Oh! Right, I forgot. There are things we can learn now. Yay! Wow, so apparently I could have just learned all of them. <laughs> and these two. Oh, I had to be level 10. Level. I'm way past the level of actually getting these. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Now I have way more stuff. Alright. Good to know. Let's try going here. I feel so dumb because I haven't played an RPG in like a while, but like this is almost no different than some of the other RPG except the gameplay is just a bit different. Kampa, I'm home. How's Isty doing? Oh, finally, more English. Thank you. Welcome home, Nep Nep. Isty is still passed out. No new developments here. Oof. How'd it go, Nep? Did you find the item? Ta da! You better believe it. You're amazing, Nep Nep. I knew you could do it if you tried. 
Sound like she said how. You just gotta make like, sure hello? to thank the other CPUs after this is over, all right? They helped you out even when things got really rough out there, after all. Yeah, I know it. I wouldn't have been able to do it without them, so I'm gonna treat them all to something nice when it's all over. Like a cake party or something? All right, so where's the item you brought? Can you hand it over, please? I want to hurry and install it in Eastwar. But how are we supposed to insert this weird cassette thing into Isti? Maybe somewhere on her back? I just looked all over her, but I didn't see any slot that was shaped like that. Did that thing come with an instruction manual? Nope, none. Well, that's no good. Even when we have the solution to her problem, we can't even get it to work. I know. How about sticking this cassette in Isti's mouth? Oh my gosh. What? I had a feeling she was going to say something like that. Or s someone was going to bring that up at least. I think that might be a little bit of a stretch. Let's keep looking for another way. It's completely fine. Isti's tough. She can handle it. Here we go. No, we're all prepped and ready to go. We can't show this face to anyone. Starting automatic program. Checking update patch. Beginning installation. Did that really work? Are you telling me that that really worked? I am... I can't believe it's actually installing this way. It's kind of an insane design. Through the mouth? Like, yeah, that's uh, kind of weird. the CPU from back then had a similar personality to old Nepnep over here. So, how long do you think it'll take for the patch to install? It's unclear. We'll just have to believe in Isti and wait for her to recover. Although it is confirmed that Histi's a robot. Ah, uh, you're right. We'll put all our faith in Isti then. I hope she gets better soon. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're in the Neptune station. And Noir's here! station it's been a while since my programs aired you're here live today with host Neptune and Noir also known as the CPU of last station ooh as expected of Noir you always introduce yourself so darn properly what's with that introduction myself properly or introducing myself properly how are you guys doing it until now? <laughs> well, I mean, I figured those playing this game <laughs> know us pretty well already, so like, you know, whatever, it's cool. <laughs> Sigh. I can't believe you. There are always newcomers, so you should always explain things for everyone. I thought about this for a while, but since we're here, I'll say it clearly. If you, as the protagonist, act like this, new players who've taken an interest are going to be left behind. Yeah, keep that in mind, uh, developers of My Hero One's Justice. This isn't the kind of playful banter you'd hear backstage on talk shows, so you you have to explain properly. In the first place, your self-awareness as the face of the series is... Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Nuba Mafu? <laughs> this isn't a freaking public channel, you weirdo. This is a specialized entertainment. <laughs> I listen to your lecturing after hours all the time, so just ease up during the show, jeez! <laughs> oh, even I can't put up with this pudding, so I'm bringing me a pudding stat! <laughs> Very well, then after this is over, let's have a long talk with history. Histor, hist. How do you say her name? Oh! Now that Neptune has a deathly pallor on her face, let's move on to the episode preview. Stop it. If Noir, if Afar's special ability burns up Nepgear's share crystals, her mind will burn up as well. Please don't die, Nepgear. If you fall here, what will happen to your promise with Uzume and Umio? You still have some share energy left. If you just make it through this, you can win against a farrier. How do you say that? Next episode, Nepgear dies? What? 
spoilers in the episode preview, amateurs! Well then, see you next time, bye bye! Wait, Nipgear dies? Wait, what? No, I got. What? Is Nipgear really gonna die? If she does, I'm through with this game. I, I I will just be through with it. And I'll probably just sit in the corner over there and just cry myself all the way to sleep. Nebgear might be my favorite here. I mean, I don't know about Blong, because I haven't seen much of her, you know, in this game so far, but I've seen a lot of Nebgear. Oh my gosh. She's a cute and adorable and pure and wonderful CPU. You're telling me she's gonna die? I really hope that Noir is wrong about Nebgear. Anyways, let's uh, hang out with a uh, big Nip. Whoa. <laughs> she was just there for a second. Looking all pretty as usual with them thighs. Look at the way she looks. Yeah. Hello. How have you been? I've been okay. Looking all good as usual. Hardware that could play those games. <laughs> I couldn't find it after all. Things just don't work out sometimes. Aw, poor you. Oh, right. Just when I was getting bummed out over my hardware search, I found a skyfish. As I was hurrying after it, I almost fell off a cliff. Oh my gosh. Ugh, you're too careless. Also, wait, just of curiosity, is that also time? another Pokemon reference? Because I'm not it's catching not up with Pokemon. Me so much trouble. I know, I know. I feel bad for not watching my surroundings, but... Oh, but you know what that means? It means I was concentrating so hard that I couldn't see around me. Concentration is a versatile trait to have in any situation. I'd prefer positive reinforcement, so I'd rather you not get so angry. That's oh, I'm... and oh. just FYI, I happen to be praised and worshipped as the goddess of concentration throughout all of game industry. What? Oh, please, that's the most ridiculous lie ever. Oh, yep. Ha 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 ha. So, anyway, back to the story of me. <gasps> so, anyway. <laughs> Player, do you believe that life forms others doubt the existence of actually exist? Wait, what? Do you believe that life forms. Wait, life forms others doubt the existence of ac actually exist? What? What is that sentence? Um. Do you believe that life forms, that that life forms others, doubt the existence? Do you believe that life forms, others doubt the existence of actually exist? Oh, oh, oh! Do I believe in life forms that even though people doubt they exist, they actually do exist? Do I believe in that? Religiously, yes, I do. Ooh, you do? So we're the same? It's more interesting if they do. It lets us dream and hope. I mean... Unfortunately, now I can only then. dream and hope about you being real, so that's the only Great thing I can hope over. and dream other so than that, I'll you know? getting back to nabbing the skyfish. We'll be heading out now. I'm like... I had a lot of fun today. Let me visit again soon. Okie dokie. Whee! Look at her go. Look at her teleport. I'm going to be so triggered that I'm just going to go through so many of these and I'm not even going to be able to actually, you know, properly, you know. No way! The transfer terminal! Kuzume, are you okay? Actually, I want to just keep playing for a little bit until I get some kind of like notification, and maybe there's a way you I can save this. You damn idiot! Do you understand the implications of what you just did? No. Nope. But the way things were going, you would have. I ain't having it. It was your chance to go home. We worked so hard, and you just friggin' blew it. Ouch. Uzume, nothing can be done about that now. What's done is done. Please focus your energy on finding a means of escaping. We'll talk about this later, Gearzy. Let's force our way through the front. Stay close, you two. Right. 
Alright, so we're playing as these two characters again, right? Okay, autosave. Yes. So, um, I think that's where we'll end it for now. Because, um, I have the whole, like, you know, family uh, movie night to get to really soon. So, once again, I am really hoping that Nebcute doesn't die. Because if she dies... Oh my goodness. Then they need to figure out some time travel thing as soon as possible. Because I will do everything I can to make sure she does not die on my watch. No matter what. I'll even have to level her up to 99 eventually if that's the case. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I am really worried about Uzume or Nepgear right now. Because I don't know what's going to be happening to her. Oh my gosh, I hope she does not die. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I literally swear I'm going back to all those VR parts just so I can experience the VR. And I'll see you guys in whatever we do next. Take care. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day. And I'll be getting to my movie. Night. In our house. Yeah, all the theaters are closed down. Think logically, guys. How can we have a movie night if all the theaters are closed? We'll probably have a family movie night in our house.